In Russia, repression against the top military officers who failed the initial period of the invasion continue. Former head of the Russian Defense Ministry, Sergei Shoigu, has already been punished, but Putin still has many grievances against his former comrade. As a source told the Moscow Times, the president's grievances include the failure to fulfill the plan to take Kiev in three days, Prigozhin's rebellion and the weakness of the Russian army. This is humiliation. Putin does not forgive such humiliations, the media source emphasized. The article cited the example of Shoigu's ally Ruslan Salikov, who failed to take the seat of governor of Tuva, although everything had already been agreed upon. The official in a conversation with the Moscow Times suggested that the former head of the Russian Ministry of Defense will not be left alone. It could even lead to arrest. The official is sure. Investigators continue to open new cases against high-ranking officials of the Ministry of Defense. A whole host of generals has been arrested, and the Vorobyov clan, closely associated with Shoigu, is at great risk. Criminal cases for bribery have been opened against several high-ranking officials of the Moscow regional government, where Andrei Vorobyov is governor. Everyone sees this and everyone understands that Sergei Kuzugetovich has been punished, a Russian government official with a military background told the Moscow Times. Three sources of the Moscow Times, who are personally acquainted with Shoigu and Putin, said that the Russian president has accumulated a lot of dissatisfaction with the former defense minister. A new blow for Shoigu was that his longtime ally Ruslan Salikov was not approved as a senator from Tuva at the first meeting of the Republic's Kural. According to the Moscow Times sources, Shoigu wanted to take Salikov to the Security Council and then agreed, through the Kremlin, that he would become a senator. But Shoigu's opponents intervened in the matter. Shoigu can hardly feel completely safe. And as far as I know, he's very worried. So far, they are leaving him alone. But no one is trying to predict what will happen next. I would not be surprised if it could lead to an arrest, says a current Russian official familiar with the former defense minister. It was earlier reported that Sergei Shoigu had a falling out over the office of the head of the Security Council with Vladimir Putin's new aide, Nikolai Patrushev. Having received the new post of Secretary of the Russian Security Council in May, Shoigu was unable to move into the office assigned to his predecessor in this post, one of the informed interlocutors told Proekt. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Thursday called on European Union leaders to unite in helping Ukraine as he arrived in Brussels to outline his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia. Speaking to the media alongside the President of the European Council, Charles Michel, Zelensky told reporters his plan aims to strengthen Ukraine and pave the way for an end the conflict on Europe's eastern flank. I think that this plan doesn't depend on Russian will, only on the will of our partners," he said before addressing leaders at an EU summit. Zelensky was later due to shuttle across Brussels to meet with NATO defense ministers. The EU is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. What is needed is more military equipment more technologies so that Ukraine are in a position to defend itself against this terrible and blatant violation of the international law," Michel added. And of course, for me, it's very important to share our victory plan with all the leaders who helped us, uh, who helped us with your leadership from the very beginning of full-scale war. And with some, maybe with some notes, which will be out of press. And uh, mm, of course, I want to speak about this 35 uh, billions. Of, from 50 billion of Russian assets, the decision during G7 and now the finding right mechanism for getting this money as quick as possible to us. I said very openly now with the president that when we had very big gap, long, long months without, without military support, really our interior production of drones and electronic systems of electronic warfare helped a lot. 
our plan is to strengthen Ukraine, to be strong and be ready to diplomacy anything, to be very strong. And it's great, I think, that this plan doesn't depend on Russian will, only on the will of our partners. And I think this, this gives opportunity to make this plan real. And on our side, the partners of Ukraine, we have to be consistent. Uh, and the words, this is good, but not enough. What is needed, this is more military equipment, more technologies, uh, so that uh, the Ukraine are in a position uh, to, uh, to defend itself against this uh, uh, terrible uh, and blatant violation of the international law. We need to move some partners forward. And I think only with the unity in EU, we can move and can move not only EU leaders, we can move other leaders. Thank you.